PSA Collector. What's going on guys? It's Matt with PSACollector.com, back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to cover the top five most iconic Ken Griffey Jr. rookie cards from the Junk Wax era, the Junk Wax product. So these cards are going to have a very, very high population report. However, the Gem Mint 10 examples are going to be relatively low considering the recent hobby explosion. Prices are steadily going up in value on the PSA 10s. I'm going to share with you guys. I've been wanting to look at the Ken Griffey Jr., the Junk Wax era sets, uh, his rookie cards, see what they're doing, see what the market is doing. Are they going up, staying steady? And also the correlation between the, the prices of the 10s and the prices of the 9s. So this video is all about the Ken Griffey Jr. rookie cards from the Junk Wax era sets. Okay, the mass printed sets but when found in a PSA 10 case are relatively rare. So without any further ado, guys, let's go ahead and jump into this video. Okay, starting off the list at number five is this 1989 clear number 548 total population submitted of 46,918 with just 4,476 found in gem mint condition PSA 10 cases. So relatively low guys considering you know, a lot of the newer cards and the high population PSA 10s are, but look at the nines guys, 25,877. So PSA 10s, you definitely want to aim for that. If you're thinking long-term investing, let's see what they're currently selling at. All right. So we just go to the APR button up there. We click the uh, player filter by grade. So we want to see the tens. So we have all the recent 10 auctions. And what I do is I take the top five most recent auctions. So we have those three auctions divided by five and I come up, come up with an average. So currently the PSA 10s are selling for $112 on average. So $112, is that a fair price? Is that, uh, uh, you know, a, uh, a, a good price for this card? If you come down at the bottom, look at the graph, you can see in April of 2020, they were only $68 between 60 and 80 on average. But look at that back in 2019, guys, they were $37 for a PSA 10. So I think that these cards, due to the relatively low pop PSA 10 population, I think they have a, a chance to be a decent long-term investment. If you can pick them up now at around the $200 price in a year or two, that 200 could be 300, could be 400. I mean, it depends on how much the population report grows. From this graph, you can see it has its peaks, guys, and its valleys. It has these outlier prices, you know, you got to do more investigation and to see what it is. But I just generally, generally disregard those and focus on the ones down here that make more sense. So if I were to try to get in now on one of these cards, the 89 Fleer Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie card, I would, my goal would be to aim at, at around the $200 mark to $200 point and know that um, this is going to be a long-term hold. This is the card you buy, put in the closet and take back out in a year or two and see, see where the market is, okay? Number four. It's a 1989 Topps Trader number 41T with a total population of 70,561 submitted to PSA so far and 12,033 PSA 10s, which 12,000 guys to me, that's that's pretty high for PSA 10 population. OK, the 40 look at the PSA 9s, 41,000 PSA 9s, 15,000 PSA 8s, very high numbers, guys, 12,000. PSA 10s, let's see what they're selling at right now. So right now, on average, a PSA 10 top traded Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card, $130 for a PSA 10. Now this 180 is an outlier uh, because you can see the other ones, it's 125, 137, 110, $100. That was a PWCC auction at 100. So I'm not sure what happened here. Could have been inflated, could have been uh, manipulated. Um, the month, I mean, not it's still in December of this year. 180, I think is a little steep. So I feel like a fair price for a PSA 10 right now is $130. Now let's scroll down, look at the graph, see where, where they're at. Okay, beginning of the year, they were selling at 50. Sports car hobby boom in, in March. So they jumped to, they doubled, tripled essentially at, at around 150. They kind of took a dip a little bit to about 100, back up to 130 and down to 100. So this is a, a, I mean, it's a moderately volatile card. Uh, you got to buy the, uh, you know, the, the buy the lows, and you know, if you want to flip, one hundred seventy-two dollars. If you bought in at one hundred and you sold at one seventy-two, that's a, you know, potential profit. That's minus fees, potentially forty, fifty dollar profit. I wouldn't suggest doing that with these cards. 
I would buy and hold long term. It's an iconic Griffey rookie card, guys. The 89 top traded. Now the top traded Tiffany, much better option, but those are way, way expensive, guys. So I'm just covering the base Junk Wax era product, the top traded iconic Griffey rookie card. This is a beautiful card, guys, in Gem Mint 10. And PSA, uh, they're, they're rough on them, um, but like a 12,000 population report, oof, I would say, could it get to 200, 250? Maybe one day, um, but right now I think $130 on average. Uh, I don't know. We'll see if, the pri if that price is a healthy price or if it's too high or too low. Like I said, one of Ken Griffey Jr.'s most iconic rookie cards. Um, would I pay that much for a PSA 10? Not yet. I don't feel comfortable doing it just yet. I, I would, uh, st I'm still gonna wait and see what happens. Look at the nines, $21. I would feel more comfortable picking up a nine for some reason, just for 20 bucks, just to have the card in the collection. Try to look for the best centered one as possible because these are easily, a lot of them are very easily off centered. Well, let's look at the PSA nine graph. Dang, that is low. There is no action going on with the nines whatsoever. And I can foresee this. Well, they were $8.50 in 2018 and now they're at about 22. So. <laughs> I think just with inflation, that's why that they went up. So number four is the 1989 Tops traded Ken Griffey Jr. Number 41T at $130. Number three. Number three is a 1989 Bowman number 220 Ken Griffey Jr. rookie. Total population 21,000. Uh, total PSA 10 population 1,960. That's a very healthy PSA 10 population report, guys. PSA 10, these Bowman cards, hard to find centered, and um, the card stock is cheaper, so they're hard to find uh, without any chipping on the edges. Let's go ahead and take a look at what they're selling for. Okay, so on average, these are selling for PSA 10s for $252, which makes sense, guys, because we saw how low the PSA 10 pop report was, right? significantly lower than the previous two cards and you can see the graph it, it it reflects that lots of action going on lots of volatility going on up and down up and down peaks and valleys um at the beginning at, uh, of 2019 they were selling for around 80 dollars had a spike had a dip in april they were selling do do back down to like 100 if you're lucky 112 one sold for 68 142 this is during the boom guys and then in April, end of April, they jumped to 250, around 250, 200, and they're staying there around 200, 252 dollars. If you're lucky, if you're lucky, you can get them at 200 dollars, which I think is a good pickup, guys. These, now these are 1989 Bowman. They're uh, mass printed, mass produced, but the Gem Mint 10 examples, tough guys, tough to get, tough to find. The centering is, uh, good centering is hard to find, and the card stock is, it's a cheaper card stock, so it's hard to find cards with sharp corners and edges that don't have any kind of chipping or white whitening going on. So Gem Mint 10 examples are, I think, a good pickup. What is it, 250? <sighs> yeah, man, 250. I would feel comfortable paying 250 for a 1989 Bowman. Junk Wax era, Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card, and PSA 10, Gem Mint condition cases, okay? Uh, 250, I think, that's a healthy price. It looks like they're going, it looks like they're slowly picking up. 285 is a recent sale. 349, 255, 232. What I say? Yes, yeah, a 252 on average. So, 1989 Bowman. Now, there's also a Bowman Tiffany set, much more rare and much more expensive, guys. Bowman Tiffany. That's a. Uh, I couldn't even afford them back when they were cheap. Number two. Number two is a 1989 Don Russ Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card, number 30. Three with a total population of 31,716 and a total PSA 10 population of 1,764. Very low, guys. That's a very low PSA 10 population. Look at the nines, 10,000. <laughs> you definitely want to try to get those tens. That pop report, I don't think, is going to get much higher. Let's see what they're selling at. Okay, so on average, the PSA 10 selling for $295 and they are. I think, yes, going up. Yeah, a dip, just like all the other graphs. So are we gonna see a dip again? Is, is 300 the new bottom, the new support? I, I I think so. I think $300 for a PSA 10, considering the low pop report. And guys, look at this. This is another iconic 
Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. Very difficult to grade. Uh, the whitening, the soft corners on a lot most cards. Centering is a big issue on the set as well. But man, who would have thought that these were PSA 10 were going to be up this high? Number one. Number one, the highest selling junk wax product, Ken Griffey Jr. baseball card, is a 1989 Upper Deck Star Rookie number one with 76,757 total submitted with 3,901 found in PSA 10 gem in condition. Let's see what they're selling for. Okay, so the last couple of auctions, the average for a PSA 10 is $1,618. For a PSA 10, that is incredible to me. Look at this graph, guys. So at the beginning of this year, $740. And the huge spike right when the boom, the boom hit. Psh, up in the uh, end of March, early April. It reached $1,500. Had a, a dip and back up, dip, back up, dip, back up. And we're guys, we're, we're going up. It's going up. For, to me, guys, <clears throat> that population report scares me. The, these cards scare me. I mean, look at what the nines are selling for. PSA 9, $198. To me, that looks like a gem mint card. And I will go through, I'll, I can scroll down and look at all these cards and be like, uh, yeah, that's a gem mint card. Why isn't that in a PSA 10 case? So I'm kind of concerned about this card because guys potentially buy the PSA 9s, break the case, snap the case, submit the PSA, and I mean, $1,500 if it comes back at 10. If not, you're gonna get a nine. And let's see, was the market going up on the nines? So let's see what happened. Where were they, where were they at in April of this year? So $100 essentially at the beginning of the year. And now they're selling at 200. So they doubled, almost doubled. They almost doubled. So if you buy a PSA nine, or if you have a bunch of PSA nines, you crack the case, submit it to PSA, Chances of you getting a 10, I mean, I don't know, man. I definitely wouldn't suggest investing in this card, but I don't like to say that a lot because the market has proved me wrong many times. I'm just, you know, look at the other options is my suggestion. And that's kind of why I wanted to do this video and looking for myself, if it were me, I would be going, I would be buying. Now, yes, I know this is the iconic Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card from the Junk Wax era. In my opinion, this is the card that killed the hobby initially. People were told that this card is a good investment to buy this card. I think they were selling for like 250 bucks back then in the 90s, which is a lot. It's a lot now. Guys, you know, were spent a lot of money on this card. And then to only find out that, you know, millions of cards were printed and a lot of fakes were printed. So this card to me, it scares me for that fact alone that in my opinion, it essentially killed the hobby the first time around, okay? And then it took how many years to recover? Uh, 1996 is when the serial numbered cards were introduced to the hobby. So that kind of, I think, saved it. People started trusting it again. But guys, this Griffey card, I think it's mass, mass, mass risk. Uh, big risk, big risk, actually. Uh, so I would go for the lower pop, pop report ones, like the 1989 Don Russ, number 33, and the 1989 Bowman, number 220. Those... The barrier to entry on those cards are low. The risk is low because the PSA 10 pop report is so low. And um, also the overall population report is low. So those are the things I look at when I'm looking, uh, you know, at uh, long-term investment potentials and, um, you know, playing it safe, playing it safe. All right, guys, there you have it, the top five Ken Griffey Jr. rookie cards from the Junk Wax era product, mass printed product. Now I'm going to be doing a, another video of his higher end stuff, his more expensive stuff, which is very, very interesting. Okay. Let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think about these Ken Griffey Jr. card options? Are they a good investment? Are they a bad investment? What do you think about the PSA nines? Are they a good investment? Even though the pop reports are high, uh, are they even high considering, you know, the how, how, how fast the hobby's blown up? If you guys like this kind of content, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and stay posted for more videos. Hit the notification bell while you're at it. That way you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.